Oh, that was a nice, that was a nice one. This mistrial, like the last video. Um, what's up? Uh, back at it again. Uh, bit number four this time, we're still keeping it going. Not consistent at all, but we're still keeping it going. Uh, today, we're gonna learn how to porn star. Uh, call it whatever you want, call it star for short, I don't care, uh, but we're learning how to porn star. YouTube's absolutely going to flag this video because of the name of the trick. I don't care. Hardly almost no one watches these anyway, but thank you to those that do and have sent me like really nice messages or critiques or whatever. Like it means a ton and it's the only reason I'm out here freezing to death in Texas. Freezing. It's 50 degrees today. It's the only reason I'm out here doing this. So shout out to all y'all. I'm here with my friend, uh, Mickey Salas. Uh, he's obviously very good at this trick. Uh, that's why, you know, I always need some assistance with these. Not, not the best guy to be showing most of these, but I can at least explain it. So, with that being said, I guess let's, let's do it again. We're doing it again. Porn star, pretty basic trick. It's going to be probably one of the first, first of five I'd say you should you should learn you know Machio soul grind which we'll talk about in other videos porn star is one of the the easy first basics you'll probably be learning if you're new to skating so it's easy enough Machio foots on here that was beautiful Machio foots on here the back foot is a torque each foot if you pick one up should be its own independent trick. One should be placed in a Machio, one should be placed in a Torque. I'm making that point right off the bat because if you're new to skating, you haven't really thought about it, you know, for too terribly long. You're brand new to it. Um, a lot of people will just throw that foot back there. You know, if you're, if you're starting out, you, you know, you're, you're just learning tricks, but you're not learning around other people, especially like that back torque foot, the foot in the back, just throwing it back there. No, 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 no. We want both feet to be independent of one another. So while you're doing a porn star, if you want to pick it up, pivot, move around, you know, you've got that back torque there as a independent trick if you need it. So that's a point I want to make. Each foot needs to be locked into those positions. Jumping, as we talked about in every video, whenever you're jumping with both feet at the same time, we have, as we said in every video prior, we want to also lock both feet at the same time. Porn star is a little bit different than most tricks. On a soul grind, you can have your feet close, you can have your feet way out here. There's a lot of uh, ways you can do a soul grind. Collectively, rollerblading has decided that we probably want our feet as close together as we can put them there. Like snug right up against the other one. Um, there's reasons for that. There's reasons we would want our feet together as opposed to like spread way apart over here. And here's why. If our feet are close together, it's gonna not only make it easier to balance, keeping your, uh, your, your, your weight centered right below your body, but the foot, like your foot itself, is gonna be kind of forced to torque a bit more, uh, how do I say that? Your foot will be forced into the torque position a bit more easily. If you start spreading your legs out, you're getting into sidewalk territory. Sidewalk was, if you don't know what that is immediately off the top of your head, old school trick where the dudes would, it's similar body position into a point star, but they would lock their laces like this. <laughs> you probably don't ever want your knee below a ledge or grinding on your laces because I think that just ruins your laces and you know it doesn't slide very well. We're not talking about sidewalks today. We're talking about porn stars today. Um, so yeah, uh, style points. If you want, if you want it to look good, try to keep your feet close together. It's going to force you into the torque. I think a bit more easily, and it's going to make it easier to balance. And it just looks better, in my opinion. Looks better. 
Don't shoot the messenger. Aside from not keeping your feet apart, you want to try and keep your weight on this trick at the back of your heel or the, uh, you know, the, the laces of the back foot right underneath you. It's actually a really, really easy balance trick. So, you know, if you're new to skating and, and you're, you found the spot, you're trying real hard to, to balance it and slide the whole thing, Cornstar is a great trick to learn. Okay, so I guess in conclusion, you know, we always kind of do the breakdown at the end of these videos. Tutorial Plus, we're, we're going way too in-depth, you know, this is what we do. Break it all down. We're going to approach the ledge. As always, we're going to jump both feet at the same time. We're going to always try our best to lock both feet at the same time. You know, unless you're spinning, but this is a, you know, basic tutorial, not a spin tutorial. So try your best to lock both feet at the same time. We want our feet close together because that's going to help you balance, it's going to help keep your feet in position, it's going to help you do a lot of things. Um, you know, you're going to want to make sure that your torque foot stays a torque. Easy enough. Our Machio foot stays a Machio. Torque foot should stay a torque. That's just me. Actually, it's not just me, it's literally all of us. Like, it's, it's the collective of rollerblading. Um, and yeah, try to, try to come off. Always try to slide the whole obstacle if it has a, uh, a definite end to it. Try to land both feet at the same time, and by George, we did it. Today, we porn starred. We star grinded. Uh, whatever. Like, we did it. And that's the goal. Uh, disclaimer, I really want to make one of these videos. Uh, if you're still here, like I said, I, I want to make like just kind of a, a point of the channel video. I'm not trying to be a gatekeeper. You know, I'm not trying to say what counts and what doesn't, even though that's literally what I'm doing. I'm talking about the standard. I'm trying my best to talk about what we should reach for. We're not gonna do it every time. You know, I tried, I think I did this one or two tricks today. I did 200 attempts. And the only ones you saw are the ones I got. So by all means, you know, don't, don't get discouraged. If you're out here in the streets trying these tricks and you're like, man, I never do it right. You know, we're just, we're talking about the bar that we're reaching for. We're not talking about doing this every time. We're not that, no one's that good. And if you are that good, you're probably boring to watch, so. And you're not even watching this video if you're that good. Get out of here, get out of here. We're getting out of here today. I've had enough, I'm kidding. Thank y'all so much. Uh, you know, always feel free to hit me up. It's uh, at C Cody Sanders S, two C's, two S's at the end, on Instagram, holler at your boy, talk about skating. If you have any questions, I always do my best to respond. Uh, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm slow, but I'll do it, man. Uh, yeah, good times. Thank y'all for making this far in the video, and until next time, peace.